viewers and welcome back to Side Bosses. So today in this video, let's talk about the task management of field service module in Odoo 17. So in today's fast-paced world, field service technicians are constantly on the move, juggling multiple tasks and trying to meet tight deadlines. Odoo 17's field service module offers a powerful solution to streamline operations and improve efficiency. So now let's dive into how task management can revolutionize your field service business. For that, first let's open the field service. Okay, so this is the field service module. Now imagine you're an easy repair company and a customer calls in to report a malfunctioning AC unit. Okay, so you need to dispatch a technician and schedule the appointment and ensure the technician has all the necessary information to complete the job efficiency. Okay. So for that first, what you need to do is create a new task. So you have plenty of tasks here. I'm going to create a new one. Okay. So here you have to specify the name of the task. So I'm going to name it as AC repair. Okay. And here you have the project. So you have to choose the project. So the project will always be field service. As you know, the project module as well as the field service module is intertwined. Okay. So this is the project called field service and here you have a worksheet template. So you can create template of each type of intervention. So you have an, I mean, you have and also you can customize the content with your own files. So this is the uh, worksheet template. So you have other templates as well. And if you want, you can create worksheet templates. So those worksheets can be seen here. Okay, so the assignee can be seen here. So normally the logged in user will be taken as the assignee. So from here, if you want, you can change it. Okay, you can change it to any other user. And here comes the customer for whom this AC repairing will be done. So I'll choose as your interior. Okay, so once you choose that, you can see a thing which is called view itinerary. So if you click on that, see, it will take you to the map. Okay, it will actually take you to the map of that particular customer okay i mean the location of that particular customer will be taken so you can see how many time will take will be taken by you to reach that person okay so this is basically the google map okay so by using this google map you can actually uh, i mean navigate yourself to that location that is the customer location so you know what google map is used for it is for taking directions okay so you can choose the vehicle on which you are going and you can even close the direction and search it. So this is available inside Odoo. Okay. So I'm just closing the map. Okay. So here comes the. Okay. So this is the field service. Now you can see the customer Our details are given and also the customer phone number is given here. So from here you can call or even SMS the customer. Okay. So if it's a billable one and all, you can add a sale order right up. Okay, so if it has come through a sale order that can be added over here. So sale order item to which the time spent on this task will be added in order to be invoiced to the customer. So you can add this to a sale order. Okay, so what happens is that it will be, uh, you know, billed by using that particular sale order. So it is given in detail over here, sale order item to which the time spent on this task will be added in order to be invoiced to your customer. So you need to invoice this to your customer, right? So for that, you can add the sale order item. Okay. So the time spent on the task will be added to the order. Okay. So by default, the sale order item set on the project will be selected. In the absence of one, the last prepaid sale order item that has the time remaining will be used. Okay. So that's the sale order item. And then you have the planned date. Okay. So I'm putting a date over here. That is the duration. Okay, from which date to which date is the planned date. Now you have the allocated time. So a particular time is given for you to complete it. Okay, so the time can be, you know, specified over here, how many hours, you know. Okay, so that's it. And then from here, once you've done everything, you have the option to put the description, the time sheet as well as the subtask. So if there is any subtask for this particular task, you can create the subtask from here. This is the timesheet, which is to record the time which you are spending on this particular task. Once everything is filled, what you have to do, you have to start the task. Okay. So once you start doing the task, you can start it and this will be tracking your time. Okay. So currently you are in new state. 
then it will go to planned in progress and done state. Okay, if you click on the three dots, you can see the cancelled state as well. So currently this task is in progress state. Okay, so you can pause it from here, you can stop it from here. So whatever it is, you can do it from here. So I'm just stopping it. Okay, so you can see the hours spent. So I'm putting it as 25 minutes. And once you're done, you can resume the timer or even log the time. So I'm logging the time. So that time will be recorded in the timesheet. So you can even add description that is in, in this particular span of time what you have done or any particular remarks or description can be added here in the timesheet. So once you start doing the task, the time will be recorded and that will be, you know, marked in the timesheet by its own. Okay. So once it's done, you have the option to sign the report, send the report and mark is done or even start it. So I'm going to click on start again. Again, you can see the time has been recorded. So I'm just stopping it. Okay, sorry, stop it. And I'm logging the time. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is send your report. So the report should be sent, right? Send the report is clicked and this is the layout of the report. So this is basically the invoice layout. Okay, so you can, you know, set the report layout from here. And once you're done, click on save. So the layout configuration can be done from here. That is from the task creation area itself. And here is the layout and you can send it to the person. That is the customer. Okay, so the layout is sent to the customer. Now comes the signed report. So report is sent to the customer. Next, you have to sign it. Okay, if it's signed, means you can simply click on the sign icon over here. And say, that is the customer can sign it. Okay, so the customer to whom this has been sent to, that person should sign it, right? So that is it. Okay, so let's go back to the task. Okay, so that's the customer's signing. Let's go back to the field service. So let's search for AC repair. So here is AC repair. So the signing and all is done. So here you can see the customer preview. Okay. And once it's done, you can mark it as done. Okay. This is marked as done. And after the task is complete, what you can do, you can actually create an invoice for the task. Okay. So click on create invoice and they'll be asking what kind of invoice you want to create a regular invoice, a down payment with percentage or down payment with fixed amount. Whatever it is, you can create and click on create draft. Okay, once the draft invoice is created, you'll see the invoice details. You can then confirm it. Okay, so after confirming, you can either send and print it or even register the payment. So I'm registering the payment and completing the invoicing process. Okay, so that's done. You can see invoice is in posted state. Okay, so let's go back to AC repair. Now it has an invoice which has been created. Okay, so from here you can mark it as done. Automatically here it will be changed to done state itself. If you click on more, you can see the worksheet. So this is the worksheet. So here comes the name that is the AC repair, the manufacturer. You can choose the manufacturer from here. The model of the, you know, uh, equipment. And here you have the serial number, the intervention type, which is the first installation or technical maintenance. So you can choose it. I'm choosing technical maintenance. Description, you can describe the intervention and then here comes I hereby certify that this device meets the requirement of an acceptable device at the time of testing. Okay, so that can be, you know, certified from here, the date and the worker signature, signature of the worker can be added over here. So this is basically a worksheet. Okay, so in our case, the AC repairing person okay, or the AC technician will be the one who is filling out this worksheet. Okay, so that's the worksheet. Okay, now here if there is any corresponding sale order, that sales order can be seen here. Okay, so this is the sales order which was created because we have already invoiced it, right? So this is the sales order corresponding to it and let's go back to the project. Okay, so this is the field service, that is the project. Okay, so this is basically how you can manage, that is how, how you can manage my new things inside the task. Okay, how a task is created. You can see the worksheet is completed here from, I mean, by clicking on that, you can see the customer's preview. So I'm going back to 
the edit mode so yeah that's how you basically you know manage the task creation inside the field service module okay so here under the log you can see all the changes which you have done and all the operations which you have done okay so this is basically how you can easily manage the task inside the field service i hope it's clear for you guys thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video